Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, I'd like to share with you how I use these really beautiful gold and silver metallic candle holders from the Dollar Tree to make some really glamorous gold and silver home decor. So if you're interested in seeing how I use these candle holders, then just keep watching. For my first project, I used four of the Dollar Tree candle holders as well as three of the Dollar Tree vases and my E6000. This project was super simple. I simply removed the stickers from the bottom of my candle holders. I then used my E6000 to attach two of those candle holders together. I flipped the first candle holder upside down. I did this because I have more surface room on the bottom of the candle holders. By using this side to connect the two pieces, this should help give a stronger hole and keep these candle holders together permanently and securely over time. I then push this piece to the side and then I use my E6000 to attach one of the shorter cylinder vases directly on top of a third candle holder. I repeated those steps with my fourth candle holder and shorter cylinder vase, and I sat both pieces to the side to dry. I then glued the taller cylinder vase on top of this candle holder as well. As you can see, I used a craft stick to pat the glue onto each of the candle holders. I did this to avoid the glue from seeping out. If I did have any glue seepage, I immediately wiped it away with a paper towel and I allowed all three of my pieces to dry overnight. To complete the project, I used an X-Acto knife to remove any remaining E6000 and here was my finished look. Since the gold metallic color already makes a bold statement, I decided not to add any embellishments or gemstones to my design. I kept them very clean and simple, and I think that they turned out beautiful. For project number two, I used four of the silver metallic candle holders. I could only find three of the same design and a fourth that was slightly different, but I managed to use all four, one of these napkin rings that I already had, one of these portable light bulbs that I purchased from Big Lot for $6 and a $3 lampshade that I purchased from Five Below and my E6000. This project was also super easy. I simply used the E6000 to attach all four of the candle holders together. I stacked them one on top of the other. As you can see, I placed this second candle holder on top slightly different. I thought that this would help enhance the overall look of my design. I placed the candle holders that were the same on the bottom and the design that was slightly different on top. While the base of my lamp was drying, I used the E6000 to attach a napkin ring to my lampshade. While that dried, I tested my lighting source. For this lamp, I'm using a portable light bulb that runs off of three AAA batteries. You can use any Dollar Tree push light, but I chose this because it looked very similar to a traditional light bulb, and I thought that the magnetic holder was a perfect fit for this project. The magnetic holder comes with this 3M adhesive patch, but I didn't think that this would be strong enough, so I removed the patch and I used E6000 to attach the magnetic holder to the top of my lamp base. 20 minutes later, I used hot glue to attach the bottom of the napkin ring to the magnetic clip as well. I use hot glue for a temporary hole for the lampshade because I may change the shade later, but the bulb fit perfectly and the lamp turned out beautiful. Thank you. 
And finally, for my rotating organizer, I used my final two gold metallic candle holders, as well as two of these nine and a half inch Dollar Tree mirrors, some of their gemstone stickers. I also used this Lazy Susan that I found on Amazon, as well as some gold metallic spray paint that I had on hand, my E6000, glue gun, and glue sticks. I'll leave the complete list of everything that I used for all three projects down in the description box. So the first thing I did was remove the cardboard and the mirror from their frames and then I used my gold metallic spray paint to give my frames two light coats and I allowed those to dry. While those were drying, I used one of the cardboard backings from my mirrors and I traced a circle using my candle holder right in the center. I then cut out that circle. I began initially using a pair of scissors, but because the cuts were not clean, I ended up using a X-Acto knife to remove the center of that cardboard piece. Next, I used the E6000 to attach the two candle holders together. I then used my hot glue gun to attach two rows of the gemstone stickers along the sides of my Lazy Susan. These gemstone stickers are self-adhesive, but the adhesive is not strong, so the hot glue should help the gemstone stickers stay in place over time. Once my gold frames were completely dry, I flipped over the first one and I reattached just the mirror to its frame. I then was able to push this frame down on top of the Lazy Susan and it fit perfectly. I then added additional gemstone stickers to the bottom tier of my rotating tray. For my second frame, I also returned the mirror as well as the cardboard to the back of the mirror as well. Once I had the gemstone stickers also attached to the second mirror as well, I flipped the mirror over and then I used E6000 to attach my candle holder. I cut out the center of that cardboard because I didn't want to glue the candle holder to the cardboard. I thought that I would have a much better hold if I used the E6000 to attach the candle holder to the hard surface of the mirror instead.
I then cleaned the bottom tiered mirror and then I used the E6000 to attach the opposite end of the calendar holder to the top of that mirror as well. To complete the project, I removed any excess hot glue and E6000 and here was my finished look. I placed one of the XOXO signs from the Dollar Tree on top, but I didn't glue it down because I wanted to be able to move it around as I changed the use and the location of my organizer. So there you have it guys, three simple and easy home decor projects that we made using those beautiful silver and gold metallic candle holders from the Dollar Tree. So I hope you guys enjoyed this week's video. If so, please like, comment, and share. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. Be sure to turn on your notifications so that you don't miss my next video. Remember, I upload new videos every single week. So until next time, guys, bye.